The rocks are made out of century old coral. Mm-hmm. Mm, I just keep looking at the ocean. Mm, beautiful. So I want you to imagine <sighs> something coming. I love the smell of the air. Mm -hmm. What does it smell like? Like seaweed and salt. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear the seagulls. I want you to see yourself in this place and tell me what you look like. What do you imagine yourself to look like in this place? Look down at your feet. Oh, I'm part fish. Mm -hmm. Describe yourself to me. Why do you say you're part fish? What part are you fish? My feet are fins. Mm -hmm. What color are they? They're like a kind of a dark green. Mm -hmm. Keep looking up and see what else you look like. Oh. What's the top of you look like? Look at your hands. What do your hands look like? <sighs> My hands are long and skinny. Mm -hmm. And you've got Like skin in between them. Mm -hmm. How many fingers do you have? I have like a like three fingers. Mm -hmm. And actually four. Mm -hmm. But the fourth one is wider, mm. and the skin's longer. I see. Do you have any nails on them? No. Mm -hmm. What's the ends look like? They're sticky. Mm, they're sticky. In what way? When I pick things up, they just stay in my fingers. Mm, it's very nice. What do your arms look like? What color are they? They're like... <clears throat> Oh, kind of a weird blue. Mm-hmm, a blue. What about your torso? How does that look? Very muscular. Muscular, mm-hmm. Are you male or female? I feel like I'm a boy. Mm-hmm. What about your, your face? What does that look like? Mm. Describe your features. I'm looking into the water. Mm-hmm. Trying to see my reflection. Mm-hmm. My features are
I've got the high cheekbones. Mm-hmm. High cheekbones. And my teeth are kind of jaggedy. Mm-hmm. And I've got a high forehead. And I've got like a hole in my head. Mm -hmm. Where is this hole? On the top. Mm -hmm. What is that hole for? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's how I communicate to my family. Uh, so it's like your voice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you breathe? Like normal. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, no a nose? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does that look? Um, it's small. Mm -hmm. What kind of shape is it in? It's like part of my face. Mm -hmm. It doesn't protrude much? Protrude? Mm -hmm. It doesn't come out? A little. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you consider yourself handsome? Uh, handsome? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. How do you feel when you look at yourself? I feel good about myself. Very good. So what is it that you're doing on this beach today? Looking for shells. Ah. I love shells. What kind of shells are you looking for today? Ones that catch my eye. Mm -hmm. They're like jewels. Mm -hmm. What do you do with these shells? I save them. Hmm. They're beautiful. So which ones have you chosen today? The ones that are perfect. Mm -hmm. They have to be perfect. They have to be almost like they're not real. Hmm. They're so perfect. And then I make jewelry for the people I love. Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. How do they wear this jewelry? On their head or on their necks. America. Sometimes I, if I find a good one, I make tools out of them. Hmm. What kind of tools? Spears mm -hmm. for hunting. Yes. What do you hunt? Fish. Mm -hmm. How is it that you get around? Well, I swim. Mm -hmm. How do you find the shells? I crawl to the <clears throat> to the ocean. <clears throat> I crawl up to the sand. Mm -hmm. That's why you're very muscular, I would assume. You use your arms to crawl? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. I have to do it at a certain time of the day. What time do you go? Later. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because you want to get it just as the tide starts getting higher. Mm, 
I see. So as I climb up to the sand and get the seashells, by the time I collect all my seashells, I'm underwater again. Mm, because the tide has taken you out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of late in the day you do this. Yes. Mm-hmm. But sometimes I want to feel the sun. So I find rocks to lay on. Mm-hmm. So I love the sun. It feels so good. Mm-hmm. It's warming. So let's see where it is that you live. I'd like to close that scene and see where it is that you live. Go there now. Where are you? I'm swimming. Describe what you see around you. Are there others like you? Right now, no. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm looking at other fish. Do you communicate with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. I use my hole in my head. Mm -hmm. How do you communicate? I make sounds. Mm -hmm. I make different sounds in the water. Mm Mm-hmm. And it sends out they know usually we hunt for fish that are mean. Hmm. Is that how you select what food you're eating? Mm Mm-hmm. So what kind of fish is it that you consider mean? The sharks. Why do you consider the sharks mean? Because they... Because they're mean. Do you communicate with these sharks? Can they understand you? No. Why is that? Well, they f- they feel fear. Mm. Okay. They feel fear. They feel fear vibrations. Is that how, how they know how to hunt? Those that are in fear? That and blood. Mm-hmm. They look for blood. They smell blood. Fast movements. Mm-hmm. They're very mean. So how is it that you go after them? We hide. Ah. Just lots. We usually trick them into chasing us. Mm hmm. To where we can hide. And how many of you hunt when you do this? Sometimes 60. Mm, and as many of you. Sometimes more. Mm hmm. And do you all work together? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. The dolphins help us, too. They're your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the whales. We take care of each other. Mm -hmm. We're a family. So tell me what happens. I want you to go to where you live. Is there a place where you reside in one place?
we don't really live in like one place. We move around a lot. Mm -hmm. So let's go to a time when all of you are together. They're underground caves. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these caves. What do they look like? They're beautiful. Hmm. Describe one for me. They're got really smooth walls. Mm-hmm. And shallow but deep. Mm -hmm. You can see like creatures glowing in the water. They glow so bright that they actually light up the caves. Ah. Mm hmm Beautiful. Are they always glowing? Yes. Mm hmm Can you see in the dark? In the dark? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I have excellent vision. So what do you do in these underground caves? We eat. Mm -hmm. We sing. We love to sing. How do you sing? You just like... Sing songs. Mm -hmm. Are they just musical tones from the hole in your head? No, we use our vocal cords. Hmm. So you have different ways of communicating. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And we. Is there a particular song that you like? Oh, 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 Beautiful. Do all of you sing that together? Or does each one have their own song? We all kind of just join in. Mm -hmm. Make things up as we go. What is that song about? Does it have a a theme to it or an idea? Just how I express how I love my world. Mm -hmm. My voice is changing, so I'm. I don't know, I feel a little weird singing. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm like 14. Mm -hmm. What do they call you? Do you have a name? Mm -hmm. Listen for your name to see if you can hear it. Paco. 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 Mm -hmm. Paco. Paco. Mm hmm. Paco, do you have parents? Yes. Tell me about your parents. Noipi. Noipi. That's my mother. Mm hmm. My father is Paco. Is Paco? Mm hmm. And what's the difference between the young? 
in the old in your in your people? Do they look different? Different sizes. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything on your head, Poco? I have a reef. A reef. Mm -hmm. Did you make that yourself? My mother made it for mm. me. What's it made out of? It's made out of. Some kind of metal. Hmm. Where does this metal come from? Ships. Ah. Do they fall off the ships? No, these are ships that have sunk. Ah, I see. And we go inside them and find all sorts of treasures. Mm-hmm. And then we make things out of them. Do you ever see anybody on these ships? Not these ones. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes we do, but they're past. I see. So, Paco, let's go to a time in your life when something important is happening. Close that scene, and let's go ahead. Something very important is happening. Where are you? We have to move. Why is that? People from above are coming. What do you mean from above? The land dwellers. Mm -hmm. Where are they going? They're looking for us. What do these land dwellers look like? They're on ships. Mm -hmm. And they've got long sticks that are sharp. What do they do to these? In this? nets. In nets. Mm -hmm. They're not just looking for us, they're looking for other fish. Mm -hmm. Have, we stay away from them. Have they ever seen you? Some. Mm -hmm. We have to be careful. Why is that? Because they're not... They're not good. Mm. They're dangerous, like the sharks. Mm -hmm. Have any of you been caught? No. How do you avoid being captured? We stay away. Mm -hmm. We go deep. We stay deep. That's why when I can go up to the shore and be in the sun, it feels so good because it's so dark down there in the deep. Mm -hmm. It's cold. Yes. It just feels lonely. Mm -hmm. I like to be where the sun shining. Just feels isolated. Mm -hmm. So let's see where you're going to. Take me with you. How many are you in a group? There's over a hundred of us. Mm -hmm. And where are you going? We're just going somewhere where the energy's better. Mm -hmm. We could feel their energy. It was angry. Very angry energy. Mm -hmm. 
So tell me when you get to the place where you're moving to. What's it like there? We're still looking. Ah. Uh, how do you know when you've gotten there? What does it feel like? It's magical. Mm. It's beautiful. We move around a lot. You like, you like to move around with the whales. Yeah. Do you accompany the whales? We take care of each other. Mm -hmm. Are you able to communicate with them too? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I love the whales. What are the whales like for you? Yeah. Very sacred, peaceful animals. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of love. Very good energy. Are they hunted also? Yes. With those evil land dwellers. And we do the best we can, but we have to be careful, because they'll go after us. <laughs> and sometimes I see the whales, and I want to help them, but I can't. <laughs> and they just don't care. They don't care. <laughs> If they hurt those beautiful creatures, and they're just minding their own business. I want to laugh, sometimes I feel so much hate towards them. Feel their energy. Their energy is full with so much hate. <laughs> These beautiful whales. All they care about is their babies. They just want to take care of their babies. They just want to be. They just want to be in peace. And land dwellers, have you ever seen any that are good? I'm sure there are some. I've seen them, but not these. Mm -hmm. These are tons of them, mm -hmm. and they're they're after my whales. There's nothing I can do. Are you able to warn them? Yes. That's what we do. <clears throat> do you swim faster than them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your abilities. I swim very fast. Mm -hmm. As soon as I see a land dweller mm -hmm. in those big boats, I let them know they're coming. And do they listen to you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Especially mothers. Because mm -hmm. they think about their babies. Mm -hmm. You're in danger, those babies. Mm, yeah. They have to have their mothers. They have to have their mothers. So 
Papa, now let's close that scene. Let's move to another scene when something important is happening. Open that scene up and tell me where you are. Oh, we're safe. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Somewhere really warm. Mm -hmm. The sun is much brighter and hotter. Mm -hmm. Is the water deep there? In certain parts. Mm -hmm. Where is it that you spend your time? I like the shore. This place has beautiful shells. Mm -hmm. They're big, big shells. What do they look like? Spirals. Mm -hmm. You make sounds out of them. Oh. Do you call them anything? Big shells. Mm -hmm. And what do you do? What else do you do with these big shells? We make instruments out of them. Mm -hmm. So you could sing with them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we used to make, we use them to carry things then too. What kind of things do you carry? Like sea stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you eat anything besides the sharks? Um, there's vegetables in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We honor. We show honor. We honor one another. There's a lot of honor in the ocean amongst one another. Very peaceful. How old are you now? Mm, I'm like 17. Mm -hmm. And Paul, do you ever find a mate? I'm sure I will someday. Mm -hmm. There was one girl I really like. What does she look like? She's beautiful. She's a year younger than me. Mm -hmm. We're like known each other since we were little. Mm -hmm. She's like, almost like my sister, mm -hmm. but I like her. How are her features different than yours? <laughs> Just softer. Mm -hmm. Sweeter. And do you spend time with this girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you played together? Yeah, she helps me look for she sells. I see. Do you do anything besides just playing? Do you have any responsibilities? We take care of the the special animals. Mm -hmm. What kind of animals? The whales. Mm -hmm. The dolphins. And other animals that are becoming fewer in numbers mm -hmm. you know we have a territory that we cover mm -hmm. and then there's other people like us but different tribes mm -hmm. that take care of other areas like let's say cold areas are there any in the cold yes there's cold areas 
And how do you maintain your body temperature in that area? Uh, well, we stay in our area. Mm -hmm. But how do they maintain their body temperature in that cold? They just do. Mm. It doesn't bother them. No. They're differently looked than us. I see. They're... I guess got thicker bodies. Mm -hmm. Their fins are much different. Mm -hmm. How do their fins look? Their fins are whiter. Hmm. Yours are not that wide? Mine are wide. Mm -hmm. These are just thicker. I see. More protection. Yeah. From the elements. And their their color is lighter. Hmm. To blend in with the ice and snow, perhaps? I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know of them. I've heard of them. Never seen them. Very good. Does your tribe call itself anything? What do you call your people? Aka. Aka. What does Aka mean? Family. Mm -hmm. Do you speak your own language? It's just a sound we make. Mm -hmm. Like the singing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But more commanding. Mm -hmm. Like, ah! Oh! Mm -hmm. Just many different things. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to say something in your language? What does that mean? It means I'm saying something in my language. <laughs> That's very good. So, Papa, let's go to a time when something is happening again move forward you're older now where are you? Tired. What's happening? I'm just really tired. Look around you. Where are you? I'm in a cave. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself? Or are there others around you? My wife's with me. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? I'm very old. Tell me more. My body aches. I'm tired. I think I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. So go to the end of your life as you take your last breath there 
And as you transition, let me know what happens. I'm going into a spiral blue light. A spiral blue light. Mm -hmm. What happens now? What do you feel? Mm. Where are you now? Mm. I feel like Tell me more. I feel like I'm in the nothingness. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Relaxing. Mm -hmm. So as you're in this nothingness, I want you to think back at that life that you just lived. Every life has a purpose and a lesson. What was the purpose of living that life? To forgive. To forgive. Who did you need to forgive? The sharks. And the, they're just eating. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that now? Yeah, I was very angry. Mm -hmm. As you look at the sharks now, do you consider them evil? No, they were just surviving. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself for thinking that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not knowing any better. Now that you see it from a different perspective. Yeah. I can. Mm -hmm. So let that go. You don't need that anymore. What else did you learn that need to learn from that life? The land dwellers. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. You had a lot of anger against these land dwellers. They're probably just hunting for food too. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself for thinking those thoughts about them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you understand that they also probably had families like your own? Yeah. And didn't know anything about the whales? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were probably just scared of them, weren't they? They were so big. Just like you were scared of the sharks. Yeah, I figured that out later. Mm -hmm. What else did you learn from that lifetime? I learned that I had a beautiful life. Mm -hmm. Did you have any children? No. No children. Mm -hmm. Did you choose that? My wife just was unable to have children. Mm -hmm. I still loved her. She was my everything. Mm -hmm. Do you feel she was your soulmate? Well, I'm not sure what that is. Mm. She was just your everything. Yeah. You loved her very much. Yeah. Are there any lessons that you learned from that lifetime that you want to correct for another lifetime? Forgive faster. Mm-hmm.
let go. That everything's happening the way it's supposed to. That everybody's just doing what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I want you to leave that place where you're resting and I would like you to go to the place where you plan your life. I want you to go to the life between lives. The life between the lives. You'll be planning the life of Nina. Allow yourself to go into that time and that place and tell me where you are. Where are you? Look around you. What are you experiencing? It's cold. Mm -hmm. Why is it cold there? Cold to the bone. Mm -hmm. Tell me where you are. I'm in London. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm here with my parents. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Twelve. Mm -hmm. I want you to acclimate yourself to your body and tell me what you look like. Well, I'm wearing boots. Mm -hmm. And they got a small heel. Mm hmm Small heel and a boots. Mm hmm What else? They lace up. They go to my shin. Mm hmm And I'm wearing stockings. Mm hmm Stockings. And they roll up to my knees. And then I have these pants with ruffles that go over the rolled up socks at the knees. Mm -hmm. And then under that, I have my petticoat on. And another slip dress. And then I'm wearing a blue dress. How long is this dress? It goes to my ankles. You can just barely see my boots. Mm -hmm. Are you over wearing an overcoat to keep you warm? No, because I'm inside the house. Oh, I see. Is it cold inside the house? Yes. Mm -hmm. And my father, he only allows us to use coal at certain times of the day. Why is that? Because he says coal costs. Mm. And we have lots of money. So he's not using his money to keep you warm? You seem to be upset about that. Yeah, because I'm cold. Mm -hmm. What does your father do for a living? He's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. 
He works for the queen. Oh, I see. Which queen is this? What's her name? Victoria. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? No, it's just me. Mm -hmm. What do they call you? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. So Elizabeth, how do you keep busy during the day? What do you do? I have a governess. Mm -hmm. She teaches me. Do you like her? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's strict, but she's nice. What are the things that you're learning now? I learned to play the piano. Do you like that? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. What else do you learn? Um, I learn English, mm -hmm. literature, and I learned math, mm -hmm. and I learn history and geography and French, and that I sometimes have trouble with. Are you a good student? No. Why is that? I get bored. Hmm. What would you prefer to be doing? I love nature. Hmm. Do you ever get to go to nature? An hour every day. One hour. Precisely one hour. And what do you do in nature? We just walk around the park. Mm -hmm. It's a really small park. That doesn't seem to satisfy you, does it, Elizabeth? No. I want to go to central London. Mm -hmm. What's there? Just more stuff to do, more to walk on. Mm -hmm. But it's long. Where do you live? In Hackney. Mm -hmm. In Hackney? Yes. So Elizabeth, I want you to close that scene and let's move to another scene in that same lifetime when something important is happening. I'll be there now. What's happening, Elizabeth? <sighs> what are you feeling? Uh, they're putting on a corset. They're putting on a corset? How old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen? Who's putting this corset on you? <sighs> Are made. Mm -hmm. Have you ever worn a corset? Before? Yes, and I hate them. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Ah! Ah! I cut off my circulation. Mm hmm. Mm, and I can't eat, and I love to eat. Yeah. Are young ladies supposed to eat a lot? No. Oh no. It's mm -hmm. not ladylike. I'm so hungry. Do you ever sneak some food in? Oh, yes. When do you eat when you're not supposed to? Mm hmm. But then I make myself throw it up. Ah, I see. And then you don't, you don't gain any weight so you can fit into your corset? That's right. Mm hmm. Do you throw up a lot? Yeah, but then I feel guilty. Mm -hmm. But mother says that if I am going to find the right suitor, I have to do this. You have to look nice. 
Mm -hmm. Yes. What else do you need to do to look nice for a suitor? <sighs> Be intelligent mm -hmm. and silent. You cannot speak your mind. No. Yeah. And I have a lot on my mind. <laughs> What kind of things do you have on your mind, Elizabeth? Well, I just think it's poppycock. The way that men treat women. Mm -hmm. When women are so much smarter than men. We're so much better than them. But we're treated like nothing. And where do you get these opinions from, Elizabeth? I have two eyes. Mm, what do you see? I just see how they treat us. How does your father treat your mother? Which is unbelievable. Considering we have a woman queen. I don't even know. If I was queen, I just wouldn't allow this. So what ideas do you have to do about this as you get older? I keep them in their place. I see. I certainly wouldn't let them do that to me. How does your father treat your mother? He's mean to her. He t belittles her and talks to her like she's stupid or something. Mm -hmm. like she doesn't have a brain. And he tries to talk to me like that. What do you do? I tell him I'll run away. And then he tells me he'll cut me off. Mm -hmm. Is that how he controls you? Yes. Mm -hmm. And since I can't get a job, I would love to get a job. I'm just so sick of it. What do you do at home all day, Elizabeth? Study. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I sneak out the window at night. Where do you go? I go as far as I can go. Have you ever been caught? No. I'm very sneaky. Mm -hmm. I wear all black. Mm -hmm. I wear one of my father's cloaks. Ah. And one of his hats. I see. So you look like a man. You got it. Yeah. And then I, whenever I see somebody coming, I just turn a corner. Mm-hmm. Because is, if you got close, you'd know it was me. Mm -hmm. Are you well known? Well, I'm female. Yes. And you shouldn't be out by yourself. No. Well, a proper you? young lady never goes out at night, let alone without a chaperone. Mm-hmm. I just like to be in nature. I love looking at the moon and the stars. I know, just... I know, I just... I know there's more. Mm -hmm. I feel like... I feel like I'm a star. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like I'm special. Mm -hmm. And I just, sometimes I just feel caged. Yes. Well, little star, let's close that scene and let's move ahead to another important scene in that lifetime.
something important is happening. Move ahead. Where are you? Where are you, Elizabeth? What's happening to you? What do you see? What emotions are you feeling there? I'm feeling tired. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because I'm married to a man that I can't stand. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this man. He's a lawyer. Mm -hmm. My father pawned me off on him. Is he older than you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He wants to have children. What do you think? No way. Why is that? Because then I'll really be stuck with him. What's his name? Sir Robert John mm -hmm. Rockerford. Sir Robert John Rockerford? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me more about Sir Robert. He's boring. Mm -hmm. He smells funny. Hmm. And he's anal retentive. In what way? Mm. I don't know, just like he's got to stick up his butt all the time. Mm, I see. But he has money. Mm -hmm. And with that money, what can you do? Nothing, really. Are you able to visit nature? Oh, yeah, I still do that. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? I just wait till everybody's asleep. And then I leave. Mm -hmm. Do you go to the park? Yeah. Is it the same park as before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only now in the summer times we have a summer house, a summer cottage. Where is this summer cottage? I don't really know hmm. the name of it because I never really thought to ask. Hmm. But I know it's like a two or three hour ride in the carriage. I see. Is there any water nearby? Mm, just oh. like a little pond. A little pond, very good. 
So tell me something important about what's going on right now with you. I'm figuring out a way that I could get out of this marriage. Hmm. So let's fast forward and see how you do. Allow yourself to fast forward and see what you come up with. Yes. Tell me your plans. I moved to New York. You moved to New York? How do you do that? You do that? I saved up money. And I bought a boat ticket. Did you go by yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you tell your husband where you were going? No. So you left him? Yes. Did you take any money with you, Elizabeth? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens in New York. I want you to fast forward to see how your life is in New York. What do you do there? I'm an actress. Mm -hmm. What do you call yourself? Ruby. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your life. Dyed my hair bright red. Mm -hmm. I cut my hair. And I'm working in a dance hall for now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be an actress. What year is this for you, Ruby? It's like. I guess 1917. Mm -hmm. When I say the year 1917, does that resonate with you? 1917. Mm -hmm. I know it should. Mm -hmm. So I'm living here. Very good. So Ruby, close that scene now. And let's move forward to when something is happening important in your life. What's going on? What's going on? What's the matter? I'm not an actress. What happened? Men just want to use me. How are they using you? my body. Mm -hmm. Do you still call yourself Ruby? <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. Is that how you make your money? Mm -hmm. I have to. <laughs> they have no other way to survive. I hate myself. I don't care. They just want what they want. And they use you up. <laughs> they lie to you. They lie. They lie to you. 
<laughs> Sometimes I just want to die. find out what you do do. Close that scene and move ahead to another scene and something important is happening. Where are you now Ruby? I'm living in a boarding home. Mm -hmm. How old are you? In my thirties. Mm -hmm. How are you making your living now? Mending clothes. I still see a few people. But I can I just can't do it. Like that. I feel gross. Mm -hmm. But I found a few that I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're nice to me. They take care of you. They want to marry me. Mm -hmm. I don't trust them. Why is that? Because men are liars. So I just, I love to sew, and it's quiet, nobody bothers me. Do you work by yourself or with others? I work by myself, I work out of my apartment, mm -hmm. or my room basically. Mm -hmm. And you men clothes? Mm-hmm. How do you like doing them? I like it. I it just be nice if it paid more. Nice. Yeah. You know, I'd like to get out of this boarding house. I had to sneak these gentlemen in my window. It would be nice if I could have my own little place where I can invite them over. Mm -hmm. But then again, I kind of like that they have to sneak through the window because they don't know about each other mm -hmm. and if they could just come to the front door then it'd be harder to keep them from each other so you kind of set your own boundaries there haven't you yeah well that's how I juggle them mm. you like both of them there's four of them actually wow. four of them. yeah and my my favorite one is the one that's older and that's because he can't get it up anymore. <laughs> so we just talk. And that's an easy way to make money, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you like that. <laughs> but I love talking to him. Mm -hmm. Is he smart? He's very smart. Mm -hmm. And um, he's a beautiful man. But I still don't trust him. Let's close that scene now, Ruby, and let's go ahead into the future now. That part. Where you are. What happens?
feel like What do you feel like? I feel unfulfilled. Mm -hmm. How old are you now? I've got gray hair. Mm -hmm. Where do you live? I think I married that man. That nice man. Yeah, but he's much older now. Mm -hmm. Which I kind of like because He's even more easier to control, mm -hmm. but he's harder to take care of because he's older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel like you have to nurse? Yeah, and if I wanted to do that, I'd have kids. Mm -hmm. I don't want any kids. So where do you live now? We live in a little house. But you're not fulfilled? No. I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to have fancy furs and lots of diamonds and I mean I had those things. Mm -hmm. Then I had to keep selling them. I'd get a good guy and he'd spoil me. And then he'd get tired of me and there goes the money. Mm -hmm. And there goes the diamonds and there goes the furs. So then I'd have to do it again. It's like a job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A job that sucks. Oh. At least my husband now takes good care of us. Mm -hmm. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. I just feel unfulfilled. It does feel good to be safe. And it does feel good to be comfortable. I just wish I could have it all. Okay. So now let's close the scene and let's go to the last day of your life in that lifetime. Move ahead. Where are you? I'm in the hospital. Tell me more. What's going on with your body? I'm dying. And I'm glad. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel there? I feel like I'm in my 90s. Mm -hmm. Is anybody there with you? A few girlfriends come to visit mm -hmm. from back in the day. Mm -hmm. But they have to come with their kids because they're as old as I am. My husband died years ago. So as you're there, ready to transition, what are the thoughts going through your mind about your life? I wish I had more freedom. I wish I had picked a career. I started noticing other women who chose careers. 
Like Chanel. Okay. Did you want to be like Chanel? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. She had everything. Granted, she didn't have a love, but she had loves, but she had freedom and money and independence. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be just like her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. Take your last breath there. And leave that body, and as you leave that body, I want you to think about what the purpose of that lifetime was. What were you supposed to learn in that lifetime? I'm thinking. I think, I hold on to stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. I get bitter. I think I should have spent less time being bitter and more time being happy. Did you choose being bitter instead of Oh, happy? yes. Mm -hmm. So what would you like to learn? For the next lifetime. To be happy. Mm -hmm. To be braver. Mm -hmm. Have more faith in myself. Have more faith in other people. Just love. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to be more loving to myself. And to... <laughs> Everything and everyone around me. <sighs> because the world really is a beautiful place. <laughs> and I just appreciated it more. I'd like to have you leave that body, see yourself going closer and closer to the light. And as you do, you can connect with the woman named Nana, the other aspect of you. And I'd like for you to tell her what you learned that's affecting her. What part of you is affecting her? She holds on to stuff. Mm -hmm. She's constantly thinking that nobody's good enough. Because I think deep down inside she doesn't feel good enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is she getting that from you? Yeah, she is. Mm -hmm. Does she need to carry that around from you? No, mm -hmm. she doesn't. And she shouldn't. Because she's perfect. She is. So much strength and so many beautiful qualities. And she's so loving. And she's loyal. And she's honest. What is she? What else is she getting from you? Is she getting any attitudes of not men from you? Oh, yeah. Tell her about that. What is she picking up from you? Just trust. Mm -hmm. Does that hurt her in her relationships? Yeah, it does. It creates her to attract them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. What else has she picked up from your lifetime? Drinking and smoking. Mm -hmm. And eating. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, like punishment eating. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while, she'll eat a lot of food and she'll purge. But she doesn't do it as much as I did. Mm -hmm. She definitely loves her body a lot more than I did. Does she need all of these habits of yours anymore? It feels so good though. But Nana has to live her own life. I know, but I want to live too. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get to live. Mm -hmm. Ruby, did you ever go to the light? No. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the light. What are you afraid of? <laughs> to lay it here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when did you, when do you attach yourself to Nina? <sighs> she was bored. Mm -hmm. Why was that? Because I want to live. Mm -hmm. But Nana has her own soul. Doesn't she? Yeah. I thought if I could do it again. Mm -hmm. I could do it right this time. Mm -hmm. Did you take advantage of the soul? This body that came in? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I guess I did. I know I did. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Guilty. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that you've been controlling Nana her whole life? You've been violating her free will? I guess I just didn't think it would be that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Did you make an agreement with her own soul? I guess. What is Nana's soul really like? Perfect. Her soul is perfect. Mm -hmm. Is that why you were attracted to her? Oh, yes. Was she a light? Oh, she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she's warm. I was always so cold. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to be warm again. <laughs> Did you interfere with her progress throughout her life? Yes. So tell me what it was that you changed about her. Smoking. Mm -hmm. I love my cigarettes. Okay. Does Nina need to smoke? No. What is that doing to her? Mm. She was quitting for a while, and it seems that after she had the last hypnosis session, she started up even more. Why was that? 
Because she's trying to make me stop, and I don't want to stop. Mm, I see. So you just gave her more cravings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If she's going to stop, I want to get as much of it as I can. What else is she doing that it's yours and not hers? Hallucinative drugs. Mm -hmm. It was New Year's. New Year's is my favorite holiday. Mm -hmm. So why did you need to give her drugs? So I could control her more. Mm. What do you make her do? Drink more. When it's just her, she just has one or two. Mm -hmm. I want to kick up my heels. How do you affect her as far as men are concerned? Um, I definitely make it hard for her to trust them. Mm -hmm. Is that why she wants to dominate them? Yeah. Is that coming from her or from you? She had a beautiful life as a merman with a beautiful wife, beautiful relationship. I guess it is me then. Does she need to dominate men? To feel safe? No, I feel her slipping away. Mm -hmm. I feel her wanting to see them as her equals mm -hmm. and honoring them more. And I don't like it because she doesn't know them like I do. Mm. Well, you have different lives. You had a hard life, Ruby. You could have chosen to be happy. Would you like to be happy now, Ruby? <sighs> you don't seem to be happy. Yeah, but I want to eat, and I want to smoke, and I want to drink. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a body anymore, Ruby. But I do. It's not yours. This is her body. This is not your body. I know, but if I go to the light, then I, then I don't get to eat, drink, and smoke. But you'll get other things, and you're looking for contentment. You're looking for a way to satisfy something that you never had. You're using the smoking and drinking and everything else to fill you with something that is always missing. And that's love. Do you want to feel that love that you've never felt? Yes, I do. Would you allow me to help you with that today? All right. Ruby, I'm going to call in my angels of the white light. And they're going to come and surround you. And they're going to fill you with love. <laughs> I want you to feel their love as they surround you. Feel them projecting that beautiful light from the source. <laughs> you tell me how that feels. How does it feel to be loved unconditionally like that? It feels good to be loved. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to have those angels around you? You haven't felt that, have you? No. Would you like more of that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you go to the light so that you can feel that. But before you do, I need you to go on a, with a lighter load. Would you 
allow me to assist you with that? Yes. Very good. I'm going to put my hand on your chest. And I want you to give me all of those feelings that you've been holding for so many years. Those feelings of never feeling good enough. Of never being happy. Being able to fulfill all of your needs of being with nature. All of those things that you never, ever were able to do. Give me all those feelings. You don't need those anymore. Blow them out. Blow them out. Tell me when I have them all. Tell me when they're all gone. <sighs> Do I have them all, Ruby? Yes. Let me remove them and send them to the light for healing. Now in that space that's so, so empty, let's fill it with something that makes you totally happy and fulfilled. What would you like to fill it with? Love. Let's put a big fire hose of love in there. Allow it to fill you, every cell of your body, Every bit of your essence being filled with love. Fill all of it up. It's, this is the divine light. The love of God. And now let's seal that. How does that feel? It feels beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go to the light now with that beautiful feeling? Yes. But before you do, would you like Nina to forgive you? Yes, I would love for Nina to forgive me. Mm -hmm, because you've taken advantage of her free will all of her, her life. Let me speak with Nina. Nina, do you realize that you've had someone influencing your whole yes. life? Yes. Are you ready from this day on to live this life? as you truly came to be? Yes. Would you like to forgive her for that? Yes, I would. Tell her how you feel. Part of me's upset, but then part of me had a good time. It's just that I wanted it to end. I just so many times that I wanted it to end. Mm -hmm. And you now know it wasn't you. I always knew it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to release her with love? All right. Yes, I am. All right. So I release you with love, Ruby. Mm -hmm. Send her off with love, and I want you to go inside of your body and tell me what her influence looks like from inside. What does it look like where she's attached? I don't understand. Ruby, tell, tell her where you're attached to her body. What part of her body are you attached to? Oh. Are you attached to her arm? Yeah, and her lower back. Mm -hmm. So I want you to start cutting all of those cables. And her left foot. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. And then the bags under her eyes. Mm -hmm. Pull all of that out. We don't want to leave anything behind the viewers. And then if you see any of that influence inside of you, pull it out yourself. And then as you retrieve all of those cords that are attached to her, that are anchoring you to her body and her soul, I want you to give them to the angels. And tell me when you're all done. Are you ready to let go now, Ruby? Yeah, 
Yes. Very good. So I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to take you by the hand, Ruby. Go right up through the crown of her head. And the angels will accompany you to the light and tell me who's there to greet you. Mm -hmm. It's Archangel Raphael. Beautiful. What does he say to you? He says, I'm whole. How does it feel? Like love. Wonderful. May the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you so much. <sighs> Do I have permission to speak with me in his house after this? Yes. Thank you. Why is it that you showed Nina these, this lifetime of a merman? I wanted her to know with love and peace. And tranquility was like. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful life. She loved the ocean. Mm -hmm. Was that on Earth? Yes, it was on Earth. And what year was that? A long time ago. Are there any mermen now? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They still exist. Oh, yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Does she connect with them at all? Yes, she does. She loves mermaids. Mm -hmm. She loves dolphins. She loves whales. Mm -hmm. How can she connect with her people? Through energy, through thoughts. Mm -hmm. Telepathically, she still talks to them. Mm -hmm. In her sleep. Mm -hmm. When she goes back to California, she visits. Mm -hmm. Is that where they are? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we don't see them? They know better. Mm -hmm. Are they like the Sasquatch? That they're able to make themselves unknown? Yep. Mm -hmm. And like the fairies. Mm -hmm. Are they interdimensional? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. So they may be in front of you and you not see them? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. She wanted to know what she is really and what her true purpose is. Can you answer that question for her? Well, she's the daughter of the universe. Mm -hmm. She's a star. What's her purpose in this lifetime? To help other people see their star mm -hmm. qualities. Is she doing it? No. Mm. What's keeping her from doing that? It's disappointing for her. Mm -hmm. Frustrating for her. Because not everybody gets it like she does. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is at least interested in being open, mm -hmm. but then not believing. Was she being influenced by Ruby to maybe push away some people? Maybe not getting to them. Um, what do you think? Do you think there was some maybe blockage there from Ruby? Ruby wanted to party and play all the time. Mm -hmm. What does Nana want to do? Nana loves helping people. She loves people. So it seems like a conflict there. 
one was more selfish than the other. Dana knows. She knows who she is. Good. And now after this, she'll know even more. She knows who she is, and she knows her purpose. Wonderful. How can she stay focused on one intention? She seems to be all over the place. She's not. She says that she is, and then she is. Mm -hmm. But she's not. She just finished her bathroom. Good. She takes the dogs out for a walk. Mm -hmm. She eats healthy. She's doing what she's supposed to do. Right. She just... But she says she's blocked from moving forward. It's not blocked. It's She, she feels the block of Ruby. Oh, okay. So she feels that weight. Mm hmm Should she be a lot lighter now? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good. Why is she seeing the number 222 all the time? Everything is happening the way it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. And that's part of it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you were giving her that number to see that? That and let her know she's that she's in control. Mm-hmm. Okay. Very good. Or she's... Ultimately, she's she's in in the right place. Mm -hmm. She's creating what she's supposed to be creating. Good. She sometimes feels that she's in this world, but not of this world. Is that the merman feeling, or is that something else? Yeah, she does kind of feel like a fish out of water. Mm -hmm. So that's part of it? That's yeah, that said. and Nana believes in magic. Mm -hmm. And she gets around people who do not. She feels that energy. Mm. She feels that skeptical, non-trusting energy. And it kind of makes her want to go back to the ocean. <laughs> okay. Well, she had a question whether she was an Anunnaki. I want to say yes. Mm -hmm. Is that influencing, that life influ influencing her as much as the merman? Mm, I think it's there. Mm -hmm. But... She's evolving. Okay. It served its purpose. Okay. So she doesn't need to dwell on that one anymore? No. Okay. Why is her sleep out of whack? Her sleep patterns are like on a different time zone. Full moon. Mm -hmm. Okay. How Three. Three days before a full moon, during a full moon, and three days after, she'll be out. And then winter. Mm -hmm. She's, she'll be fine. Okay. Is the winter because of the darkness? Yes. So she needs to move to Florida. Somewhere definitely <laughs> tropical would help yeah. her. Sunny. Something sunny. Just she, like, like the merman who wanted to be in the sun. Yes. Mm -hmm. She loved the sun, yeah, she's definitely a sun baby. Mm -hmm. So someone back in California or tropical? That's why we put her there. Mm -hmm. Why'd she leave? Ruby? Yep. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend that she go back? Somewhere tropical. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that her purpose, though, is to travel. Okay. Like you. Mm hmm she has a gift of inspiration. She's very good at inspiring people. And she has a very bubbly personality. And people, they like that. Mm -hmm. And she should not let the skeptical people, because there's too many other people that, that want to hear her message. Yes. She's like you, a light worker. Mm hmm She's sometimes not sure, but she is. Mm -hmm. 
What she's doing, is she on the right path? The work that she's doing now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because she asked about QHHT. Is that something viable? Yes. Mm -hmm. To add to it. To add to it. Yes. Like you. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yes. Mm -hmm. She loves to be in charge. That was Ruby. That was Ruby. So what is her real personality like? Mothering. Nurturing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So taking care of people. Yes. So how do you think her life will be changing now that Ruby's back in the light? I think that she'll still be strong in a loving, motherly sort of way. Mm -hmm. And not as not as um, put loose and fancy free. Okay, a little bit more serious maybe? Yes. In her bubbliness? Yes. Okay, very good. Happy but focused. Very good. Very good. Um, why is it that you brought her to this session today? She's already tried it else. Because she's a black sheep too. Mm. And what experience did she want from this session? What was the intention? I think her intention was to be open mm -hmm. and see what resonated. Mm -hmm. Was she not open the last time she did her things? She was. Mm -hmm. The person just wasn't really into the past life regression. Mm -hmm. And a lot of her healing had to do with past life. Okay. And then we found Ruby. Yeah, no, Ruby's always been there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to miss Ruby. Mm -hmm. So now Ruby is gone. Good. Can you tell her what's going, what was going on with the car accidents and tickets? Who was that all about? That was Ruby. Why? The, why was that? Ruby didn't know how to drive, <laughs> so she got herself into trouble. And then the fear facilitated it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you communi communicate with me? I whisper in her ear all the time. Mm -hmm. Is she able to discern that it's you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that you're able to speak with her directly, what message would you like to give her today? Keep her faith. Mm -hmm. And Definitely take care of herself, mm -hmm. take care of her energy. What's going on with her body? What's going on with her arm and her, and her neck? Can we do a scan on that? Mm. Is she holding something there? What's going on? She's definitely holding on to something. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you to go through there and see what's there? look like to Is it something that should be leaving? Mm -hmm. It's 
sphere. And sphere. Mm -hmm. Can we release that fear today? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did she create it? Yes. All right. Would you allow me to speak with that fear? Yes. Thank you. I'm going to take that fear up her arm. And up, 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 up. Good evening. How mm -hmm. long? How long have you been there with her? Since she got married. Since she got married. Is this something that she created? She's afraid to lose her husband. She's afraid to lose her husband? Mm -hmm. So did she create you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time she does something that might push him away, mm -hmm. I'm letting her know to back off. Mm -hmm. But do you have to cause her discomfort? So when I give her attention. Mm -hmm. Can we come up with a better way to get her attention that doesn't feel so uncomfortable? Yeah. What would you like to do instead? I'll tell her higher self she will whisper in my ear. All right. Very good. So now that she created you, what would you like to be transformed into? Love. Very good. So allow yourself to be filled with love. Feel that transformation. <coughs> Can you tell me how you feel now? Allow yourself to dissolve into that love. Loosening up all of her muscles. Mm. Mm. Has the transformation completed? Yes. Very good. So I'd like the higher self to continue working with this energy so that whenever she feels these fears again, that you could just tell her in her mind and remind her. Yes. Thank you very much. Is there anything else in her body that she needs to take care of today? Hmm. Love herself. Mm -hmm. She's doing good. Very good. She's eating much healthier. Mm -hmm. She should definitely sleep without her computer in the room. Mm -hmm. So take out anything that has energy in there? Electronic, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she be sleeping in the dark? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or candlelight, just tea light. Because mm -hmm. that'll burn out after an hour. Okay. She can have soft music playing in another room. But not next to her. Not in her room. Mm -hmm. I directed her to a color of paint called Free Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's a blue, a very pale blue. I think that will help her. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. paints her room that color. Beautiful. And it'll remind her of the sea. Mm-hmm. She bought a small can of it because she wasn't sure, but I think she should buy a bigger can. Very good. And paint her room. Yes, that'll help her. Mm -hmm. And does she have any seashells in there? Oh, she has seashells everywhere. Beautiful. To remind her. She needs to keep them clean, though. Mm hmm. It's very important she keeps that dust. It's weighing down her chi. Mm. So keep it clean. Yes. Okay. Can I ask on her behalf for guides that will help her with that cleaning to make it effortless? Yes. Thank you. 
Is there anything else that you would like to tell her or anybody else? Mm, I think we're complete for now. Thank you very much. Welcome back, my dear. Mm. What a journey, huh? What do you think about this session? Mm. I sometimes I felt like this is not real. <laughs> we talked about that. But at the same time, it was like I just kind of went with it and it was like something was taken over and mm -hmm. speaking through me. And um, I think the whole mermaid thing's kind of weird because I've always been into mermaids and oh, I, I love collecting shells. I was a merman. Oh, a merman. I didn't know I was a merman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how long do you feel that you were on this journey? Ah, uh, what did it feel to you? Forty-five minutes to an hour. Well, we're going like two hours. Oh wow, doesn't feel like that long. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Ruby? I knew about Ruby. Mm -hmm. I could feel her. Mm -hmm. um, but that was pretty intense life. Do you remember her life? Do you remember everything, or do you remember parts of it? Of her life, mm -hmm. um, for no reason, I would like start crying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And but do you remember the story, or are you just kind of like, kind of there, kind of not there? Kind of there, kind of not there. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I know that there's times where I could feel myself going into that path. Mm -hmm. And it basically took me being strong to not go there. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that it was definitely my connection to the divine mm -hmm. and to my source, God, mm -hmm. um, and my angels. Because I've always known that my, well, I had two guardian angels. One mm -hmm. was Gabrielle, mm -hmm. which actually visited me when I was 10. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, I could be here for mm -hmm. I could be here for three months, and I, you would never get bored with my stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and yeah, that definitely. So, how how was this experience for you? How would you how would you explain it to anybody? Um, what was it like? Amazing. So, do you want to share this session? Sure. All right, so, well, so here we are. We're in St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. And so now that we had this amazing session. It was amazing. It was wild. It was awesome. How do you feel now? Because when you came in, you were like, oh, bubbly. You seem really tranquil now. Um, I, you seem I, like you're a lot more peaceful. I am because there's a lot of questions that I had mm -hmm. um, from my own past life experiences and this mm -hmm. just validated it. Yeah. Well, hello, I wrote my paper, Confirmation and Clarity. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I feel like I got that confirmation and clarity. Now, your life as a merman was so descriptive. I mean, just the face. What did the face look like? Do you recall? Um, we know it had a little hole on the top of his head. Do you recall what he looked like? I remember almost like a dream mm -hmm. that I was looking into the water trying to see my face. Mm -hmm. And and as I'm feeling my face, I'm feeling the definition of the bones and what was his nose like? It was like um Flatter. The best way to describe it, it was like you know you see a skeleton, mm -hmm. like a human skeleton. Yes. Imagine a human skeleton with flesh on it. Mm -hmm. But it had like the nose was down, mm -hmm. but you could see that little holes. Yeah, almost like a, like a. It reminded me of a. Um, hmm, interesting. But it was like you could see that it was almost like fish gills on the inside. Do you remember yourself singing? Um. No, but I'm sure that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Sing. Please do not send it to the voice. <laughs> you did sing. I will get no chairs turned. And you also spoke. Oh, did I? Like a merman. 
Really? So that would be, I'm going to show you that. That'll be that interesting. interesting. So, uh, and then Ruby's life was really amazing. You know, that was very detailed. But it wasn't even your life. It wasn't even your past life. And this is something that's really interesting. If you're going to be doing hypnosis sessions, that sometimes you run across past life regressions that are not yours. Right. They're of entities that are attached to you. So, was Ruby an entity? She was attached to you since birth. She, oh, she attached I you. thought it was a past life. She didn't want to die, so she never went to the light. She just, she just went. Well, where did she come from? She died. I wonder because my mom being a clairvoyant. She died. She didn't go to the light. She refused to go to the light. So she found a baby to attach to. And with my mom being a clairvoyant. So it was interesting. And I've had that before. So it was like, oh, okay. And well, you know, because I'm sitting there thinking, well, where in the heck could she come from? But now that I think about it, my mom talked to and attracted people who were mm -hmm. non-physical. So right. she was clairvoyant. She was always talking. And here I am, this glowing little baby. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I so get to live my life over again. <laughs> well, that explains why when I was eight years old, I was selling Jack Daniels lemonade. <laughs> Or maybe I was nine. I don't remember. I just remember having it to where it was. It was. So uh, as you listen to this recording, you're going to get more insight. It's okay. Gonna, it's going to make more sense to you. So now that you've had this experience, what would you like to tell our viewers about being hypnotized? <sighs> All I can say is that I went from a... I guess you could say confused spirit mm -hmm. to and to more confirmation and clarity. Mm -hmm. All I'm going to say is, uh, what's that old saying? You know, knock it till you try it. <laughs> um, and the Buddhists teach you to stay empty so you can be mm -hmm. filled. Mm -hmm. There's something, be, you know, definitely yeah. be said. I mean, that probably was a profound teaching for me because mm -hmm. now it's like, because I remember growing up, mm -hmm. Because of what other people would say, because of my mom mm -hmm. and my father, um, mm -hmm. you know, I growing up in Northern California where everybody's weird, <laughs> you know, you start to you want to be normal like everybody else, yeah. and then you find out normal sucks. Yeah, yeah, and it keeps you it keeps you from being connected to the source. Being connected because the source is infinite. The source is. Um, Everything is possible. When you start saying that's not possible, that's not, you start disconnecting yourself from the source. Exactly. Exactly. And he can't work through you. Now, let me ask you something. Did it help you when I explained to you how to get into hypnosis? Yes. And it, the little exercises that you did, that mm -hmm. definitely helped a lot. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And what about the, the, what I told you the state to be in? That helped, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the playing the game. Mm -hmm. That definitely helped because mm -hmm. at different points, I started to like question it, started mm -hmm. to kind of um, argue with it. But then I'm like, we're just playing a game. Right. And they're like, yay, we, you know, that I just kind of went with it. And as I went with it, all of a sudden it became the vision, the, the, the water, the, you know, things just started like crystallizing in front of my eyes. Right. You know? and what we're talking about is the fact that when you go into hypnosis, you have to be in a state of let's play pretend. You have to be in the state of being like being a child and, and imagining. Like when you have a toy, you play pretend that that's real. Yeah. And when you're in the state of let's play pretend, you don't take it seriously and you're able to go much faster and much deeper into hypnosis because you're not resisting. You're just playing. And that's what we did today. Because at that one point when you were asking me to describe your legs, and I looked down and I saw, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> well, yeah, I was like, I'm like looking for legs. I'm looking for shoes. And you see a fish. Yeah. And, you know, and then I was almost like going, is this me? Yeah. yeah. And then the more I started talking, I started feeling my voice as my, I could feel my voice changing. Mm -hmm. And then when I was looking down, I'm like, I'm a boy. <laughs> It was a great session. Yeah, I enjoyed it. So if you want a session with me, 
right now I'm in St. Louis. I also travel all over the place. If you want one, um, you can go to albawyman.com. And if you're out of town, you can get on my mailing list and see where I'll be going to next. And maybe I'll be coming to a city near you. So until the next time, bye. <laughs> and then the best part is the hug. <laughs> Oh, we did good. We did good. It was a great session. My last Awesome. One. Great. I know you're excited. Last one. I know. Are we live or something? No. <laughs> oh. We will be when they see it. <laughs>